All right, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mommy and this is Jimmy Sports. What do I do on my channel? I review books, talk about life experiences. I also bring to you, you know, Bible passages, like say during devotion or during the course of a retreat or during the course of attending a conference. Hi hear a word that minister to me i bring it up to you bring it up on my channel to talk about it to share with you in the blessing you know also that you can also learn from me so that's what my channel is um about and for basically so if you're um a subscriber you're welcome thank you for always coming back to see my new content and if you're visiting my channel for the first time you're welcome i love you so much thank you for coming you want to hit on the subscribe button and like this video at the end of the day you know just to encourage me and if you have um a book you like me to review or a bible passage you like us to talk about so when it comes to Bible passages, I read them and if I have, if I also have questions myself, I discuss it with a friend or one of my um, Sunday school teachers in the church. I bet I've got the best Sunday school teachers in my church. And I've also got friends, I mean, some friends from my school, my institution, they are... <laughs> I love them because I can actually share the word with them and you know during the course of of discussing the Bible passage, you know, I get to learn a lot from them. So if you would like me to review any book, drop the title of the book and the name of the author down in the comment section. And if you also like have a have a life experience that you like to share. That I think others would, you know, benefit from. You want to share down below in the comment section so that we can all learn, you know, from your own experience. So why am I doing this video today? I'm actually ch shooting this video in the night. Towards the by the time I think it's some minutes to 12 a.m. now, so I'm shooting it in the night, and you can see that there's a bit of Spice to my video. If you check the previous content I've created, you see that you know you see that I have a good a great background and but a low light or I have um, a good light but a bad background. But I think today I've got both great. Even though I've only just launched my light. <laughs> Yeah, Shabba's my friend, Adiola, Bamu, Adiola. I call it my friend. Shabba him is like my number one fan. So, it's saw one of my videos and of course, he has always mentioned that you need a good light to actually, you know, have a great content. And then today, being the 30th of September 2022, it got me light as a gift. I like to show you that. Excuse me, so many please. I want to show you the light he bought me. So yeah, I'm back. He actually bought me this light today. And um, yeah, today I've actually been eyeing this light from like I always go to Jumia to check the light they have. You know, and I'll add them to my cart, my never ending cart. So, you know, I've added several of these slides to it. And, but because either that I don't just have the patience to wait for um, Jumia to bring it to me, or that I feel so by the time they bring it, I'm probably not at home because I'm, I'm not always at home all the time. I am uh, the go gay, always on the go. So that's why I was scared of actually ordering for it on Jumia. 
because what something happened like some weeks back now i ordered for my 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 mastercard for one of the banks and you know they brought they actually gave me a call i mixed their call then they sent a text message that they were bringing my card and lo and behold by the time they brought it i wasn't home now they returned the card back to the bank and i've not received the bank the card till date i'll be sending them mails even last night i sent them some mails to to tell them that i need this card <laughs> but i wasn't at home when they brought it so that's the same with me and the same happened to this flight i was scared that i might not be home by the time they would bring it and so i didn't order for it and just today i went out uh, from hanging out with my friend we went to buy the flight it's actually um it came with a tripod stand came with um yeah this is the pack for the tripod stand this is the pack for the wing light itself it has rgb and it also has a um, normal white light so like a brown not really brownish kind of light and and not there are three types of light sure basically and i can also use just red just green just blue and just yellow if i like this is the rgb that i'm using it has all the lights rolling all the colors and which is why i have a great light um, at least balanced light for this particular video that i'm doing it also came with um, a bluetooth remote actually so i've not been able to figure it out though but it's actually using wi-fi so i have to connect it to the internet kind of okay so i know what is wrong i actually put up hmm, wireless i actually put on my bluetooth because i thought i saw bluetooth online I so it has a wireless um remote that i can use to operate both my phone and the light i'm so grateful for this and yeah so what's up with this skill what do i want to share with you quickly i want to share so that I, this is just like to tell you that this guy is back finally here for you to give you quality content good background good light and of course great content so this that is what this video is for majorly but i don't want to just leave like that without leaving you with um, something to you know bless your soul as you're leaving this channel this particular video i'm going to create another content this night like a proper content that you also would like to see what's what i want to leave you with i want to leave you with a question yeah it's a question and you also want to do a follow-up to see what exactly if if you see the answer and meditate on the answer do you know that you can actually have something a gift that it is not meant that you might not necessarily benefit from and that the gift would be for you know the blessing of others how do i mean i was actually studying my bible and i came across okay it was doing bible study in my church and as we're going back and forth on divine healing on divine healing we somebody mentioned in the fact that do we know that elisha actually died of a sickness and in my mind, I was like, how is that possible? You know, Elisha now, fire for fireman, you know, brought down the prophet of Baal with fire. You know, also the, um, there were a lot of miracles that he performed. You know, he helped the Shunammite woman, the widow. Then he also helped the, the other woman that was barren. So that, that by this by the time of year you would give birth to your own child and it came to pass and even when the child that the barren woman eventually gave birth to when the child died they called on elisha and elisha came to 
lying on the child and the child resurrected back to life. So now we now see that somebody now mentioned that he died of a sickness in my head. I was like, how is that possible that a man that has been healing a man that you know he actually healed the man took the man to go and wash himself in um, a certain river. So the question is how can a man that has been healing people helping people to you know see the face of God for a child and all those things die of sickness. How is that possible? It seems like this one is God's best friend and then how come he died of a sickness? Is it that he did not ask God, praise God about it, that God should heal him? What went wrong? Is it that God didn't answer him? Is it that so that that was the question that was popping up in my mind because he actually died of a sickness. He actually died of a sickness. So let's see quickly from um the word. Let's see how the Bible puts it. Talking about his death. So so in my own Bible, I have the heading of Second Kings chapter thirteen verse fourteen reads. Now Elisha was falling sick of his sickness, whereof he died. Now Elisha was falling sick of his sickness, whereof he died. And even right on that sick bed, we saw that Joash came to him to cry unto him about you know the people that has come to fight him, fight the you know the people he was reading over. And how Elisha instructed him to do some things, and how this king eventually conquered. So my question is, how come Elisha wasn't healed? How come God allowed him to to die of that sickness? What's that? He was working for God, he was a prophet of God. So would liken him to a normal worker in God's bank hand today. Would liken him to a normal pastor that is pastoring a church today. Would liken him to just a child of God, a believer, a firm believer in the word, in God. So why, how come he died of a sickness? How come, how come God allowed that? That's the question that has been, you know, popping up in my head all through today. That what exactly happened? I thought initially, I actually thought Elisha died like every other prophet, you know, like. Um, like Elijah that disappeared the chariot of fire and Enoch that just disappeared that we didn't see I know that, that Elisha also died so I didn't know that he died of his sickness even so to a great extent to say that Elisha was maybe uh, a perfect man or Elisha was um, that kind of man that actually you know, did what was pleasing the sight of God like most of the time that sought to you know hear from God. So how come God allowed it is the question. How come God allowed him to fall sick at all and then die of that sickness? Because the same can actually happen to a firm believer today, such that the believer just falls sick. After you know worshiping God, seeking Him day and night, not necessarily to ask for things, but just for the love of serving Him, and then the believer, the believer just for you all of a sudden, and then you wonder. So the question: Why does bad things happen to good people? Pop up in your mind, and you don't really know how to answer that. So now back to the subject of Elisha. How come a believer, the one that hears from God, you know that? Um, is so passionate about seeing people follow God would fall sick and then die of the sickness that I feel that that is not fair enough somehow like, like we can't really say that it's not fair enough but um, I ha that is the question in my heart the death of Elisha is the question in my heart so if you've got an explanation you should probably Please drop it in the comment section below. I want to learn from you what exactly happened. Like, 
do you have any explanation with um scriptural backing it is scriptural backing let's see why elisha died of the sickness like what exactly happened if you've got a scriptural explanation for that please drop it in the comment section and the question why does bad things happen to good people you also want to drop it in the in the comment section scriptural backing please of course scriptural backing is basically to let learn from the world because why not you want to learn from the world scriptural backing of the, the life of elisha his death and the the question why those bad things happen to good i i don't really think that bad things actually happen to good people all of the time because God has promised that he would, you know, guard the steps of the righteous. And I said that if you say unto the righteous, I shall be well with him. So I don't think that it happens to bad people. Them, but I have the question. I'm questioning the death of Elisha. Why was he sick? He helped somebody on his deathbed. Why didn't he pray to God to heal him? And why did God allowed the sickness. So, what exactly happened? We have an explanation for that. I want to drop it in the comment section. My name is Mom. This is Genius Sports. So we'll give you a lot of amazing content. We talk about book reviews. We talk about good books. Review good books. We talk about um, life experiences. We talk about um, scriptures. Sharing from the scriptures. And other amazing content. I'm a fashion designer, I hope you know by now. And I love like more than any other thing, corporate wears. I love to do corporate wears and I also love to do DIYs. What do I mean DIYs? Like do it yourself. Air band, something you can use to pack your hair, air packer or air ruffles, anything you call it, or scrunchies. Anything you call it. So I love to do stuff like that. I, I love to do like soap pillowcase, you know, so curtains, so um different amazing things. I also sew bags, so pods. What is that my favorite pod? Oh I don't have it here, but I love to do DIYs a lot. Like those are like do it yourself, like sharp sharp things and I love to do and I'm usually very proud of them. Because why not? I I usually love my DIYs, my I love my small quick projects so I would love to also bring that up here to share with you maybe on my upcoming channel that will be named MSI Stitches where you see all my DIYs things that you can sew by yourself unbelievable things that are like five minutes ten minutes you can use your do you do needlework if you don't have a sewing machine or that you can sew on the same use and um, stitch together on the sewing machine so be expecting that msi stitches so you, you go to youtube when once the channel is ready i'm going to come here to announce so that i can go there to subscribe on the channel and see my do it yourself where you sew your own um your own post small post for keeping money key orders and stuff where you can sew your own pillowcase where you can sew your own do you know I actually did a throw pillow one time like that yeah, it's actually one of my um, small quick projects. So where you can sell your own pillowcase, do your own scrunchies, something you can use to pack your hair, you know, do your own different beautiful things. So if you like come up again for another beautiful content, I like to stay blessed. Click on the subscribe button if you're, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel. Like this video and com drop a comment. Drop, you are not a ghost viewer. Or are you drop a comment? Let me see who who are we is here <laughs> so I can actually know. Maybe maybe one of these days if I come across um your name or your social media and I can just you know, follow up and say hi. I know you watch my videos. How are you and stuff like that? So we want to drop a comment. And if you've not seen my other videos, you want to go and watch them. They are they are amazing content. I want to go and watch them talk about books that I've reviewed. Please go and watch them now if you've not. And give them a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to this channel.
because I've just invested something else to ensure that I give you quality content, good investment, like to make sure that my videos are always amazing. So I'm still trying to, if this light is not, if you notice that the color balance is still not it, or you're seeing some things, I've just set up the ring light on the tri tripod and I'm still trying to get the a perfect color balance. I've got the light. So nothing stopping the content that be here for you. Back to back, back to back, back to back. Like I come up again, but I love you so much. You can follow me on Instagram at Unisport E U N I E dot S P O T Unisport. One can follow me on Instagram on uh, on Facebook at Abaladi I work for a radio gospel radio station, online gospel radio station, Kingdom Lifestyle Radio. So you want to subscribe to their channel on YouTube at Kingdom Lifestyle Radio. They are they are also on Instagram at Kingdom Lifestyle Radio and on Twitter at Kingdom Life Esther. Go and subscribe to them. And let's have a good journey together. Bye. Oh, bye, bye, baby. Bye, 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 baby. All right, bye.